I'm Phil Guyman. I was a pro cyclist for 10 years. Now I'm retired, but I still train as hard as I can to set the best times on the toughest climbs I can find and go on fun adventures on my bike all over the world. This is Worst Retirement Ever. Morning, welcome to Monticello, Mississippi. Uh, we're here for the Red Bluff Fondo. I've ridden bikes all over the world, and, and here's where I've landed, Monticello, Mississippi, at the Red Bluff Fondo. Uh, this, is, this is gonna be a two-part video. We're gonna start out a nice southeast US trip here uh, with, with the Red Bluff Fondo. Two-part video, we're gonna do the Fondo today, and then we're gonna check out the Natchez Trace for the next episode. That's something I've been wanting to do, so a good chance to get to Mississippi and uh, experience a nice southern hospitality. This morning I left the hotel at 5.30 in the morning and a woman was on the sidewalk and said good morning. I was like, do not talk to me. It's too early for this, this southern niceness. Um, but I uh, had a good biscuit and we're ready to go. So we got rolling uh, towards Red Bluff. The roads are beautiful, nice canopies and pine trees and uh, the pavement, it's not gravel, but it's bad. You know, it's close enough. And then as Fondos do, they turn into, how can I put this from the Bible Belt? Uh, let's say an eggplant swinging contest. Yeah, turn into an eggplant swinging contest. And now I'm not shy about my eggplant, but uh, although it was cold out, but uh, I know there's a KOM segment coming, and I wanted to keep my legs fresh. So I, I bowed out of the eggplant sizing, and, uh, and I stopped here in, uh, what is this, Possum Trot, Mississippi. You guys all heard of Possum Trot. Uh, that's where the KOM segment starts. Because what I always say is a race win is a result, uh, a Fondo win, that depends on who you ask, and a KOM, though, is a legacy. So I'm going to go for this. and. Uh, and see if I can find somebody at the top to ride back in with. That was, uh, that was flatter than I expected for a KOM. Probably would have been in my best, <coughs> in my best interest to, uh, to stay with the group and do a little drafting. But I did go faster than last year's KOM, only by four seconds, uh, which probably means I got beat by the, the eggplants up there. But, uh, you know, you live and learn, come back next year. Uh, and there's an aid station up there and only, only 60 miles to go with, uh, with my legs hurting. Side. We, uh, we crossed the, the very beautiful Pearl River, which is the site of some flooding that uh, you might have seen in the news, which not a big surprise if you, if you look at it. Uh, now we got to the Sand Creek Bridge, which is a steel bridge built in 1913. Uh, it says it's rated for six tons. It looks kind of solid, but when I could feel it shaking when a, when a car passed by a minute ago before we were rolling, 
Uh, I'm not gonna stand here too long. No offense to the bridge builders, but we're gonna keep rolling. All the aid stations at the Red Bluff Fondo are hosted by local churches, which is super nice. This one, uh, they, they didn't plan for it, but there's a, a funeral, so uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna just cruise by here. But the Southern Hospitality is still intact, and they're out here. I just saw them give a massage, I swear. Um, everybody's super nice here, it's been cool. meal, very appropriate for, for southern Mississippi, jambalaya, served with a white bread and a salad, some ranch dressing, and I'm about to buy a sweet tea. I'm going to do it right. Hi, right. a sweet tea please? So the, the KOM results, uh, local bike shop put up a, they put up $500 on who could beat my time today. Uh, I did save that guy 500 bucks, so he at least owes me, I don't know, a cookie or something. Um, so I, I was four seconds faster and, and the guys in the front group went a little bit slower. Um, but super nice day, jambalaya is good, it's been a while. Um, looking forward to coming back and uh, checking out more Mississippi in the next video.